Hi, this is John with Citizen Survival Plan. Today, I got a quick one for you. It's just how radio offsets work. It's going to be as straightforward as I could possibly make it. And in my radio videos, sometimes I don't talk about everything in actual expert radio terms. And I understand that. So some of the radio experts might not like it. But I try and explain it in ways that regular people can understand. So just bear with me. I'm just going to try and explain it as simply as possible. Let's get right into this. This is a GMRS repeater. It is separated by 5,000 megahertz. Now for you radio people, I know that we're only going up 5 megahertz and or 5,000 kilohertz. But we're typing 5,000 into the radio. This is sort of where my terminology gets kind of messed up. We're saying 5,000, even though I know it's five megahertz, but just roll with it, okay? Your radio is sitting on 462 when you are on your repeater channel. It transmits 5,000 megahertz up to 467. So the way a GMRS radio works is when I'm on repeater seven, when I key up, it's automatically going to do that offset for me. And when I key up here, you'll see this screen light up and you can look up and we are transmitting on repeater channel seven. For demonstration purposes, this is a ham radio I'm using to show you how the offset works and what it does. Let's start from scratch and just do everything as it comes. I'm going to put the frequency in i will set the offsets and set the tones and show you how this works frequency mode channel mode so to do this we need to go to frequency mode frequency because mode. this is a ham radio so we're going to type in the bottom frequency i want to listen there i want the radio to sit on that channel four, four six, six two, two seven, seven zero, zero, zero. zero okay then i need this channel when I transmit to transmit up 5,000 megahertz. So here is our offset menu, menu right here. It is option 26. So let's set our, op our offset up 5,000 megahertz. Menu. So I need to go zero, 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 five, five, zero, 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 and confirm. That's 5,000. Now, the radio doesn't know what direction it needs to set 5,000 at. It doesn't know whether it needs to go up or down yet. All it knows is we inserted 5,000 difference. Menu. So, let's go to shift direction. Frequency direction. Now, we need to not go minus because that would go below 462, 5,000. So, that would be wrong. So, we need to go up. So, we need to go up 5,000. So we are going to choose plus. Confirm. That means it's going to add 5,000 to the channel when you hit transmit. So if you look here, we are on 462700. That's where we are down here. Ignore the last zeros on that. We just need to worry about the actual uh, the numbers on the screen. So we need to transmit up to 467. And if I've done this correctly, it should transmit. Yep, we went right through. We're going out of this radio into the repeater with our offset and up there. And if you can zoom in on the screen, let's show this. I am on 462700. That is the channel we're resting on. We're resting on that bottom channel. It means we're listening to that channel. But if you watch, because you see that plus symbol, because I have an offset plugged in, it knows it needs to go up. Watch the frequency when I hit this. 467. 462 when I let off it only changes when I hit the transmit button so let's do it the opposite direction we're on our GMRS radio and we are going to transmit to that radio sitting at 462 and it picks it up because it's listening lower than it's transmit okay so this is just a brief description on how all this works together the repeater is the inverse frequencies of your radio. Our radio is listening on 462700 and your repeater is transmitting on 462700. 
but when I transmit on the radio, it transmits up to 467. That is where your repeater is listening. So everything is literally opposite. If you have a GMRS radio, none of this matters to you. All GMRS radios are offset by 5,000, and your radio will do it automatically. If we look in a BTEC manual, if you go to shift direction and offset frequency, they are unused settings if you have a GMRS radio. What I just did was with a ham radio. So on my repeater, this is my repeater, we are on channel seven on this repeater, and this is a printout of my tones and my frequencies. So you can see I have a CTCSS tone of 91.5 on the transmit and receive. So when you're connecting to a repeater, not only do you have to mess with your shift direction and your offset, you just need to make sure your tones are, are correct. I already entered them on this, it's the transmit, and if we go down, it's received. So this, this radio already had the tones put in, but you would simply just go in and connect your tones up. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It was just a simple demonstration on how offsets work. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.